Yeah, it was cool. It was cool because I, I know it was um, like too heavy. So yeah. I think. In the beginning of the camp, I was probably like. The boxing world is no stranger to drama, and the recent chaotic encounter between Gervonta Tank Davis and Keen Davis has proven to be one of the most explosive moments in the sport's history. What was meant to be a professional face-off spiraled into a full-blown brawl, stunning fans, organizers, and promoters alike. This incident wasn't just about hyping a fight. It blurred the lines between a promotional event and a war zone, creating a spectacle that no one saw coming. Keen Davis, a rising star in the boxing world, has been steadily climbing the ranks, earning recognition for his unrelenting determination. Dubbed one of boxing's brightest prospects, Keen has never shied away from calling out the big names in the sport. His sights were set firmly on Gervonta Tank Davis, a champion with multiple titles under his belt. Keen, full of confidence, boldly stated that if given the chance, he would knock Tank out. I would choose Tank Davis. I would knock Tank out. Tank is a great fighter, but I know who I am. While acknowledging Tank's skills, Keen has always believed that he could go toe-to-toe -to -toe with him and come out victorious. The rivalry between them had been building for months, fueled by social media exchanges, subtle digs in interviews, and not-so-subtle trash talk at public events. Fans were already excited about the possibility of a high-stakes showdown between the two, anticipating a fight that could electrify the boxing world. Tank, for his part, isn't new to controversy. His career has been marked not only by his achievements in the ring, but also by his legal troubles, fractured relationships, and public feuds with rivals. His tumultuous personal life has often overshadowed his athletic prowess, but it hasn't stopped him from remaining a dominant figure in the sport. Tank's path to success has been anything but smooth, but his resilience and knockout power have kept him in the spotlight. The face-off between Keen and Tank was staged by Dazen, with all the glitz and glamour expected from a high-profile boxing event. Cameras flashed, fans screamed, and reporters eagerly awaited sound bites from the two fighters. The atmosphere was electric as the fighters stood toe-to-toe, -to -toe, locking eyes. However, this wasn't just a typical pre-fight stare-down. There was a palpable intensity in the air, one that felt like it could explode at any moment, and it did. The tension reached its breaking point when a simple misstep, a step too close, or perhaps just the wrong vibe, ignited the situation. Both fighters snapped, charging at each other with raw energy that felt too real for a promotional event. Security scrambled to separate them, but the chaos was already out of control. Members of both fighters' entourages rushed in, turning what started as a scuffle into an all-out brawl. Punches were thrown, and the once glamorous event quickly devolved into an unhinged free-for-all. The stage, which had been set up for a professional face-off, had now become a battleground. To understand the significance of this brawl, we need to take a step back and look at the relationship between Keen and Tank. At one point, the two had shared a close bond, training together and spending countless hours in the gym. They were seen as the future of boxing Tank with his explosive knockout power and Keen with his rising star potential. Their connection was once seen as unbreakable, but as Keen began to make a name for himself, the dynamics started to shift. Keen's success in the ring led him to distance himself from Tank who was increasingly under fire for personal controversies. The more Keen achieved, the more he wanted to prove that he didn't need Tank. The tension wasn't just professional, it became deeply personal. Keen wasn't just chasing titles, he was chasing respect, and facing Tank was a way for him to prove that he belonged on the same level as boxing's elite. I'm not chasing you, little dude, Keen said, taking direct shots at Tank. I'm not chasing you for anything. If you want to fight me, send me a contract. This declaration wasn't just a challenge, it was a statement. Keen was ready to stake his claim as the next big thing in boxing, and he wasn't going to let Tank stand in his way. Meanwhile, Tank has long been the face of boxing's lightweight division, known for his deadly knockout power and his ability to deliver under pressure. 
However, his career has been clouded by controversies, including his legal troubles and a public fallout with his mentor, Floyd Mayweather. The face-off with Keane took on a new level of significance when it was revealed that Keane was now training under Floyd's guidance tank's former mentor. Floyd's decision to train Keane sent a shockwave through the boxing world. It wasn't just about honing Keane's skills, it was a direct challenge to Tank's legacy. Floyd, who had helped build Tank's career, was now helping Keane take his place. This move seemed like a personal betrayal to Tank, who had once been under Floyd's wing. The tension between the two men was no longer confined to the ring, it was spilling out into the public eye. Keane's move to train with Floyd wasn't just about improving his boxing technique, but was a message to Tank. It was a declaration that Keane wasn't just looking to take his titles, he was coming for his legacy. Floyd, who knows Tank's style inside and out, could give Keane the edge he needs to outmaneuver his former protege. But knowing Tank's weaknesses and actually exploiting them are two very different things. Floyd had tried to do the same thing before, coaching Frank Martin to fight Tank, only for it to backfire. Now, Keane was the one poised to take on the challenge. In his most recent fight, Keane proved that he was ready to face anyone, including Tank. Against Gustavo Limos, who came in overweight by over 6 pounds, Keane delivered a dominant performance, knocking Limos down three times in the second round and forcing the referee to stop the fight. Keane didn't just win, he sent a clear message that he was ready for the big leagues. He wasn't just a rising star, he was a force to be reckoned with. After his victory, Keane didn't waste any time calling out Tank. Knock, knock, he said, signaling his intention to challenge the champion. His confidence was palpable, and his performance had made it clear that he was ready to step up to the next level. The boxing world was watching, and Keane had made it impossible for Tank to ignore him any longer. Tank, for his part, has always been a master at handling pressure. He thrives in the spotlight, and his ability to rise to the occasion has earned him a place among boxing's elite. But this confrontation with Keane added a new layer to the narrative. Tank's career had already been marred by legal issues and fractured relationships, and the last thing he needed was a loss to someone he had once called a training partner. A defeat to Keane would not only damage his standing in the division, but would also be a significant blow to his legacy. As the rivalry continues to intensify, the question remains, will Keane be the one to dethrone Tank? With the added drama of Floyd Mayweather's involvement, this fight has become more than just a battle for a title, it's a fight for dominance, respect, and legacy in the sport of boxing. Keane is no longer just chasing a belt, he's after something much bigger, Tank's spot at the top. For Tank, the stakes have never been higher. A loss to Keane would be a major setback, but a victory would reaffirm his position as the top dog in boxing. As the world eagerly waits for this showdown, one thing is certain, when these two finally meet in the ring, it's going to be a fight for the ages. The boxing world will be watching, and the drama will be on full display. As the rivalry continues to heat up, one thing is for sure Keen Davis is here to stay, and he's ready to take on anyone in his way, including the seemingly invincible Gervonta Tank Davis. This fight will go down as one of the most anticipated moments in modern boxing history, and the world can't wait to see how it all plays out.